guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are at Unzulezu. Call me. Unzulezu Blades, and we're here to experience their lifestyle. So, call me. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Waiting for them to bring the life jacket for we can like body canoe or whatever it's called. This so yeah. Because of the price. Here's everyone. Okay guys, so we are in Unzulezu in Apollonia. <laughs> so guys, keep watching, don't go nowhere. Jacket. Yes. <laughs> Please don't say that when I'm vlogging. So, that stuff is on. Oh, I have big boobs. I want my life jacket. <laughs> my boobs almost got in the way, but <laughs> we won. So it's set and we are ready to go. From March going, yeah. there will not be water here. So we have to work all the way from here. The load inside. You have another load inside there. And even now, because of the rainy season today, you know, was not didn't have a good rainy season. We that it's already the water is already going. So the boats, I'm afraid that maybe I have to get down to the water and push the boat. But I hope that that will not Away the bears and the best, but you were using canoe. So when you get here, this is the place that you can see monkeys, you know, monkeys camps around and stuff like that. But we introduced the advent motto because a lot of people come and then they don't, you know, you cannot send them there. And also, people there when, um, when somebody's sick and you have to send the person to the hospital by using canoe, in our times you don't, you don't reach at the hospital. That's why you introduced the advent motto. Okay. So here is the place to see monkeys. And when you came, when you come here around four o'clock, when you close at work, you see a lot of monkeys around here. And they feed on this rat here, on this rat here, see, see, then the rat here, feed on it. Okay. 
a lot of monkeys around. What kind of monkeys? You have one of monkeys, uh, black heart collarbones, you have the white spotted nose. You have, oh, you they have are like here right species. now. Monkeys are here right now. Yeah, they are here, yeah. They are here, but because of, because the, of the sound, they. Yeah, they just hide and stuff. Catfish, they go inside, lay their eggs. So when you come, you just you know, you know, when you are feeding, you just put it up, and the fish is inside. Okay, and you go about two kilometers from this side. You Get more, they send some to the market and sell it for. And, and they, when they sell it, they use the money to buy sugar and other things and bring it home. Yes. So these are our fishing traps. And raffia is very important here. They also they they they, they tap it and get some wine out of it. We call it raffia wine. It's very white, very sweet. And then they also distill together the local gin appetition. third village in Ghana okay they've been here about 500 years this place has been here since uh, 14th century wow. yes it's a very old village see how they build their houses they go and fetch some of the trees from the forest you know, and they pound it like fufu when they get their level then they do the platform and they build their houses but they do it with uh, communal labor when, if you want to build your house, you go fetch the trees, you ask your friends to come and help you lay the foundation like this, and the rest they will leave it to you to continue. As, as the guy said, the house, when you go inside, they have televisions, they have, they watch Champions League and stuff like that, they have DSTV. Yeah, yeah, yes. In 2013, they get electricity in 2013. Of Samaras, um, doing Professor Samaras' time, the late president. Yes. He, he he flew and then he saw this place and, so, oh, I, and then he asked are these people part of Ghana so, yeah, this, he's the president of Ghana but he didn't know these people are part of the people so then he put you know um, measures in place and then they brought these people electricity so we can start our talk and your guys will come can I use my phone can I use my camera? Yes, we can use your camera like I told you when first. You're yes, you should, um, you should ask permissions already from the people if you want to take photos. Yeah. How, how do I tell them no, that? Yeah. yeah, how do I take the permission? Do I show them like do I say No, if you go if you go to them so can I take a photo? They they, they will understand. Okay. They, okay. You know, they okay. understand. Alive in Unzulezu. <laughs> Someone is fishing over there. Oh, they are fishing. This is the fish. Oh. Four years up, you don't have to they don't oh, have to switch. Yes. From four years up, yeah. that's wonderful. Wow. In here is for free. Oh no, it's not for you. You can hold it for free. Oh. This is last week. Here yeah, also do uh oh. okay, okay. <laughs> 
lucky. <laughs> yeah. They do souvenirs, you know. So like this type of boat, you have more. So just have a look of it. And when you are coming, you just make your choice because always, you know, when you see this one, there are another ones over there too. So when you take a look of it and you are coming, you want to buy some, you can buy it, you can even write your name on it, to tell you that you will be here and stuff like that. And here, they live in four, uh, we have 24, 24 lanes like this. I'll show you. 24 lanes. Wow. So, like so 24 this one. family. Yeah, this is one. Another one is there. And the rest are there. So they live like one lane like this, one family. And usually they have the kitchen on the other side. And they have their houses on the other side. So these are the boats you're talking about? Uh, uh, Hello. Hello. So they said you have to wave with right hand. If you do with left, it's an abomination. <laughs> Left hand, right hand. Right hand. Right. Okay. So this is the lane I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Let's play. 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 Let's i <laughs> 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 Shop. Okay, this is a shop. Hello, sorry, right hand. Hello. Did you do it left hand? Switch. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hello, Dr. Mamai. Yeah, they have the Pentecostal church here. Yeah, oh, we have a church here. Dr. Mamai, follow me. Look at that, look at that. Hello, Pentecostal church. Let me say, 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 let me you have the shrine. This is the shrine. You know? Can I read it? This is the shrine. This is the okay, the house of the God of the Real. Where? This one, the small one over there. Yeah. The small. Mm -hmm. And every uh, year, first week of April, mm -hmm. they perform, you know, which sacrifice, one? rituals. They use uh, goats and sheep for the rituals every week, every first week of April, every year. They do it. The community come together perform it even though some people go to church but you still have some traditionalist yeah. traditional people who are still doing this and i'm a traditional guy i tell you it works for I you i believe god i believe mm. the supreme being somewhere mm. but i don't trust any pastor telling me i should do this before i get my eternity it, it, it works for you right yeah. sorry it works fine for you yeah, i'm okay uh, Good. Respect that. Good. Uh, huh? another shop this is a school? This is a school. The primary school. The primary school. Oh, and there's even, I can see the foundation is different. Yes, yes. They are going to build another one. There's, I think, one, two, three, I think four classrooms, and they are going to build another two classrooms plus library. You know, when we get, when we get to, the, um, to the community center there, they have a book, like donation book. So if anyone wants to help, to build a school, but this is the money they collect to do all this. Things. Even though the money that we pay that office also, they also get some share, the government gets some share, and other communities also get some share out of it. So what they get is what is reason to build the school. And I like that because the school is very important. 
How yes. about the teachers? Are they also busy or they come yes, from? We have, we have, we have government teachers also, but they also they have employed two two of them that they pay. They use the money to pay them because of the situation here. When the government trans, uh, 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 transfer teachers here, they come here, they see the place so nice. When they go, they don't come because they are, some of them are afraid of the water and stuff, and so they don't stay. So because of that, the community have to also, you know, make sure. Uh, they employ other people to help teach the children. Who are busy the or they come from? They have two guys that they are not here, but they are from another town. But every they come in the uh, in on Sunday in the evening time, stay up to the up to Friday and go back. Oh, okay. And they have these bangalows for teachers. These ones are for teachers. Okay. Those who want to spend the night. Oh, okay. Great, great, great. Okay, this is like the teacher's lodge. So he just comes to here. What will the revenue come from? Yeah. For us to be repairing this always, we will be here for like 100 years. Oh, I see there's a toilet, public toilet over there. Okay, this is a classroom. I think they are on vacation now. I think they are on vacation now. Cool. Imagine living in a place like this. See how they did there. See details. <laughs> details. So now we are going back and sit and then listen to the great story of this village. Okay, okay. okay. You're up. Pasha! <laughs> Hello, Pasha! Pasha, say hi! Hi, Pasha! Hi. People over here, they seem so happy with their life. They're, they're, they have challenges, but they don't care. They are okay. All they need is their water and family. Fish. Hello. Hi. Please, you are welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm Richard. Also known as Ezowa Nyameke. Ezowa Nyameke. And also, this place is our community center. And I'm here on behalf of Nana Tekrika to receive visitors and also chat with them. But before then, we have a history concerning Zulazo village. So, first of all, I will start the history. When I finish with maybe questions, please, you can ask me. Um, it was started 14th to 15th century. Our forefathers, they were then living in Mali, peacefully on a land called Timbuktu. The land was blessed with gold and other natural resources, which make our forefathers rich and also famous in a way. So there was a time the Senegalese called the Mendis. They came to do business with our forefathers in Mali. But looking at the idea that they came with, it wasn't good enough to convince our forefathers. So our forefathers turned down their offer and they left. But on their return due to jealousy, the Senegalese people called the Mentis, they waged war against our forefathers in Mali. During the war, they were killing our forefathers because our forefathers were not strong enough to fight against the Senegalese. 14th to 15th century at that time, they do believe a lot in the spiritual gods. So anything they do, our forefathers, they have to face, consult the oracle. So our forefathers, they consulted the oracle and the oracle demanded our forefathers should vacate from the land since the Senegalese were killing them. Our forefathers, they have no choice but to accept the offer, which they accepted, set up their journey on the midnight and they see through Burkina Faso. But after Burkina Faso, our forefathers, they came to Ghana. When our forefathers came to Ghana, their first place was Wenchi in the Branga Hafo region in the north. They stayed there for some time and later on set up their journey to Tachiman. But on their way, there were 43 chiefs, including the paramount chief and also the chief priest. So in terms of spiritual communication, 
is the duty of the chief priest who first communicate before the king and his people. And also because of the war, when they were coming, a lot of people were injured. At that time, too, there was nothing like a road that maybe car or motorbike and pass on so our forefathers. They took barefooted in the forest. What they did throughout their journey was that if someone falls sick, what they have to do is first apply the herbs. If they give it to you, you survive, then they continue. If you die, they will find a place and bury you. As a result of that, a lot of people died, mostly the pregnant women among them. But from Tachiman, our forefathers, they set up their journey again to a pond in the western region in Sekendi, Takuradi. For a pond, our forefathers, they stayed for quite a long time and later on decided to continue their journey because there was no peace in a pond. But this time around, our forefathers, they took their lead around the coast and they got to a place in the Zema area called Batanta. When our forefathers got to Bakanta, they discovered that there was a river in the middle of the land flowing to the sea. So our forefathers, they decided to go to the forest, cut some beaches to make a raft. They made a lot of rafts. If let's say you and your family, then you are one raft. They did this most when all of a sudden our forefathers, they appear on this river, which is the Amanzuli River. But when our forefathers came to this area, their first place was at the end of the river in this direction. Permit me on your way coming if you saw Rafael by the far end on, of the river in this direction. That was the first place our forefathers set when they first came to this village. But because of the direction of the wind, and also since our forefathers were then living on land, when they came to this area, they adopted a method of burying their houses in the way of laying their platform like this. After that, they will use some of the leaves to complete it. But because of the direction of the wind, Whenever they set fire before they realized all their houses were being burnt. So our forefathers, they decided to move away from that area to this place. That was how our forefathers, they migrated all the way from Mali to Nzilazu here. But for now, we are Ghanaians, we vote, we do everything here. And also, the structure of the spiritual God who guided our forefathers throughout their journey at that period was in the form of a snake. And the name of the king among them was King Tekrika. The name of the king among them was King Tegrika, and also the spokesperson was Muga. And the language that our forefathers brought during 14th, 15th century was Ewetile language. Ewetile language. But when our forefathers came later on, they went to the land to marry some of the Nzema women. But when the Nzema women came, they couldn't speak the language of Ewetile. So instead, our forefathers they decided to learn the Nzema language to the language of Ewetile, vanished from this community. So now, we do speak the language of Nzema. I was Christian from Nazareth to primary six. No junior high school in this village. Secondly, there is nothing like a clinic or hospital in this community. And whenever our kids they get to junior high school, they have to party their own canoe to Beni, where you took your boat every school hours. After prison time, then they come back. And even our Nazareth to primary six here, a lot of difficulties. Mostly with the issue of lack of teachers and also about our school structures. Looking at the environment or the situation at hand, when government puts teachers here, they don't stay. They will come and assess things a little until the king, okay, I'm going home to bring the remaining of my belongings. When they go, they don't come back. I mean, mobile natural service in this village is very poor. And also, if you are coming, if you don't know how to swim, how to paddle the canoe, it will be very difficult for you to stay. So when they come, they will make a lot of complaints. When they go, they don't come back. We have the motorized boat as emergency raising. If you case someone is six years old, the lady during their time of pet delivery, we will first put the person in that emergency boat, take him ahead to the new way to your boat before the nearest hospital, which is AK Hospital. Please, you can ask me. Thank you all for listening. When did you guys decide that this place was your when they were coming, they were guided by their spiritual God, which I made mention is in the form of a snake. And throughout their journey, they have a, a, a chief priest as well. So whenever the spiritual God stays, our forefathers have to also stay. Anytime the spiritual God moves, they have to also move. So when they came to this area, um, the spiritual God who, who guided our forefathers throughout their journey handed our forefathers to the gods of this river, meaning here is peaceful for our forefathers. That was the main reason why they left the land behind to a certain on this water rock area and we perform sacrifice here every 14th april in the year and we therefore within the 14th april we started monday and the thursday in the way of using maybe either a bottle of castle bridge or snap else chicken and also sheep to perform the sacrifice in terms of population we have 510 we come you will notice a lot of people around is that our major occupation is farming so rather most of them they have gone to farm so and it's about one hour journey where our forefathers discovered the news
So guys, that's that for Unzlezu. Hope you paid attention to what Richard said. This is a village built on water. You can, can see, <laughs> you've seen everything. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want with more videos like this, let me know. Oh, they're calling me, yes. What? They're asking me for money. I don't have money on me, unfortunately. So I didn't come out with cash because I didn't know that this is how it's going to be. And um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you like videos like this. I could travel for you. You never know. <laughs> so guys, that be it. Bye. I'm leaving in Zalezo.